Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. This is not financial advice. The information on this channel is provided for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about what are NFTs and how they work. Suppose you're an active social media user and have some knowledge about the rise of the crypto world. In that case, you must have seen the term NFT in the headlines lately, mostly concerning some monstrous sums of money like selling a simple painting for millions of dollars. Although going through such headlines, you are probably wondering, what the heck is all this? If you want to know about NFTs and their actual workings, then stay connected with us till the end of the video as we're going to explain all the tidbits of this technology. So without further delay, let's get into the details. What is an NFT? Well, in a digital language, an NFT is a collectible digital asset with an incredible value in the form of cryptocurrency. Just like we have some very expensive paintings sold for millions, NFTs hold a specific value that can be very expensive for you. In simple words, we can relate NFTs with Bitcoin or Ethereum as it works in the same way. NFT stands for non-fungible tokens that cannot be exchanged like other digital coins. Every single NFT is different from the other and holds a specific value that can't be exchanged like for like. Here the question that may arise in your mind is what actually makes this NFT more valuable than a run-of-the-mill crypto coin. Actually, an NFT file stores extra information, which lifts it above pure digital currency such as Bitcoin and brings us into the realm of well-organized currencies of the crypto world. Anything that can be stored digitally can be thought to hold value can be converted into NFT. With super varied options, these NFTs may take the form of a piece of digital art or a music file. These NFTs work like any physical collector painting, etc. But instead of receiving a unique oil painting on canvas to hang on your wall, you will receive a JPEG file by paying hefty money. Workings of NFTs just like many other cryptocurrencies, NFTs are part of the world's second largest blockchain, Ethereum, so they are individual tokens with all the extra information stored in them. The worth of an NFT is actually comprised of this extra information, which allows them to take the form of art, music, a video that will be sold in the form of GIFs, JPEGs, MP3s, videos, and much more. As these NFTs hold a specific value, they can be bought and sold just like other types of art. The value of an NFT is set by the market trends and demand, similar to that procedure we see in physical art selling. There's not only one digital version of an NFT art available in the marketplace, means a painting will be available with many copies, and every copy will hold a particular value, but that will never cross the value of the original painting. Here the point is to explain that it's not like right-clicking and saving the artwork that holds special value as it will not work. Every NFT comes with extra information, and without that information, your NFT won't hold any value on the Ethereum blockchain. How to buy NFTs Many platforms offer buying and selling of NFTs. If you are planning to buy an NFT, you'll need a wallet that works on specific platforms. For example, if you want to buy baseball cards, your best bet is to head to a site like Digital Trading Cards, but for something other, many other marketplaces sell more generalized pieces. Every single Beeple piece created by Mike was sold for $69.3 million, and this has urged more and more crypto enthusiasts to join the show. For any newly released NFT, you'll have to register first and top up your wallet ahead of time. There are countless sites available to sell NFTs, but some of the best are OpenSea, Nifty Gateway, Foundation, Bakery Swap, Axie Marketplace, and NFT Showroom. NFTs are not limited to pictures and videos, but they are also making waves as in game purchases across different video games. These assets can be bought and sold by players and include payable assets like unique swords, skins, or avatars. Some artists are also stepping into the NFT space where they add another space and format to create and share art by offering their admirers another way to support their work. Neon Cat Gifts was sold for $690,000.
Recently, the first Twitter tweet by Jack Dorsey was sold to Sina Estov for $2.9 million. Sina received this NFT signed and verified by the creator. The raised money from this sale was given to the charity organizations to support COVID-19 programs in Africa. Talking about NFTs, including video games, all digital assets bought inside a game can't be your permanent property as they still belong to the game company. Gamers can just buy them on a temporary basis that can be used only when they want to play a game. Here, NFTs work on a prototype where the ownership of assets has shifted to the actual buyer, meaning that they can be bought and sold across the gaming platform with extra value applied based on who has owned them along the way. This has shifted gamers' interest in the NFT world as they are arguably shaking up the industry. Can we create an NFT? After seeing that simple paintings and gifts are selling for hundreds of dollars, a desire pops up in everyone's mind that why shouldn't we be trying to make NFTs? Recently, when Trevor Andrew drew this Gucci ghost and managed to sell it for an eye-watering $3,600, everyone started to think of trying their luck. Well, to amuse your thoughts, I'd like to say that anybody can sell an NFT. All you have to do is create your work, turn it into an NFT on the blockchain through the minting process, and you're good to go for selling. Moreover, you can even assign a commission to the file, which will pay you every time someone buys the piece or resells. Just like you set up your wallet while buying an NFT, selling goes with the same procedure. Every site charges some fee on every sale, which is different for different NFTs. Depending on the type of NFT, fee structure also varies. So it's better to do some research before selecting a site for NFT trading. You must focus that NFTs have given a new meaning to the digital art world by becoming the fundamental part of future art and collectibles. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Do you have an idea for an NFT? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of the next video. See you next time.